shoestring, and bubblegum. That's what the whole damn thing is being held together by. Shoestring and bubblegum. It's quite appropriate, obviously. It's held together by the flimsiest of standards. It is quite actually a house of cards, quite actually. Just one little fleck and the whole thing is ready to come down, just toppling down the whole damn thing. And still, the vast majority, as a rule of thumb, it is a generalization, the vast majority believe in it all. Completely through and through, they're ready to defend it. They're ready to perhaps not give their life for it, not be courageous in any sense of the word, but definitely defend it. How does the mind defend it? Well, it's obvious in a modern sense, there's so many keyboard warriors, so many video warriors. Well, isn't that what you are? You're just a video warrior. Okay, that's fine. You can make that declaration for sure. Have at her. The point being, that's a big part of what's going to be separated in the time very soon to come. There's not going to be any more hiding behind these screens at all. If one is going to be all in for the heart, one is going to have to, have to demonstrate it. It's going to be a physical demonstration. There's not going to be any keyboard warriors allowed in the kingdom of heaven. That's just not how this is going to work whatsoever. So if anyone who is real out there is going to be bothering listening to anyone on the internet whatsoever that's going to be a very detrimental mistake on your part very detrimental soon to come there's only going to be artificials on the internet that's all that's going to be left and if there is anyone left listening to the internet and the people on it once things get real, well, again, that's a very, very tragic mistake on your part if that's the decision that you end up making. And of course, that's what this is about too, separating the real from the actors. Of course, the unreal are all actors. But the question being, do the actors know that they're actors? Hmm, that's a big question. So if they know that they're actors, then it could easily be said that they're all in on it, aren't they? But if they do not know that they're actors, then it could easily be surmised that the MPC theory is probably more accurate. So what I am suggesting is that they're all in on it. They know that they're putting on an act. They know who they serve, which obviously I've mentioned several times, Hell's Master. And they know the purpose of it all. They know what's at stake, what's on the line. And that's the point so since they're all in on it, they're playing their part, they're playing their role because they feel that there's going to be a payoff for them at some point, should they succeed in what they have been tasked with. So that's why all these actors are doing such a good job, 
because it's very difficult, isn't it, to tell who's an actor out there and who's real. So if one is real, then you obviously know that you're not an actor. You're real. It's all real. This whole schematic, this reality, this realm that all of us have been trying to figure out. Well, if you've truly been trying to figure it out, that just tells you right there that you're real. But there are many actors pretending that they're doing the same thing, pretending that they're just trying to figure it all out. But they know what this place is. They know who they serve. They have their master. So, to the real, you've come across many of these actors, absolutely. And of course, as has been demonstrated on this channel, there are tons of keyboard warrior minions who know their role. That's what they do. And they've been outed. A little shake of that rotten tree bearing all of its rotten disease fruit. And they just got scared out of their wits. Completely through and through. And that was just the exercise. That wasn't real world whatsoever. So it was demonstrated and they've been outed. So that was a reflection. What was shown on this channel, how they were outed completely. Well, that's all around everyone in this realm, in hell's version of heaven, with so many who serve its master, all these actors, actors. Absolutely. And so they also play their part throughout the internet. Many of them are the so-called truthers. You can see a bunch of them. Often they are the most famous just because it's easy to direct people, steer them on a wrong course. Again, that is mixing truth with the lies. Give a whole slew of information just heaps upon heaps, mountains of info. And then that makes it seem like someone really knows what they're talking about. They must know something. But ultimately, that person doesn't know jack shit or they're just serving the system. And all that info inevitably leads to a dead end. It doesn't actually free anyone. It just heaps a bunch of info onto the individual doing their searching, thinking that they must have found something. This person really must know what they're talking about. Of course, it can very much seem that way. And when the truth is mixed with lies, as has so often been said, it's very deceptive. It's very hard to discern if the person that is presenting that information is real or just a deceiver or maybe they don't even know that they're being deceptive maybe they truly do believe that what they found is accurate that could very well be the case as well so one has to be discerning you have to use your own discerning ability especially at this moment. It's so critical. How many now are calling the heart itself deceptive? It's just getting ridiculous. Absolutely just a shit show, just completely through and through. To call the heart the deceiver is to call the earth itself deceptive. The very thing that provides it all for everyone without exception it's just a joke anyone who is saying the heart is the deceiver you've made your declaration ahead of time ahead of 
when everything is going to get real. You've chosen the crown of the mind. Congratulations on your declaration. Just forget about it. There's no possibility for you to be all in for the heart. You're calling it a deceiver. You're outing yourself as a servant of hell's master. You're just outing yourself. That's all that is. You love the mind. You love its disease pleasures. You want this whole cancer system to be propped up indefinitely. In perpetuity. You're just making your declarations. And of course, this heart, this voice, is an enemy to the ones making that declaration, calling the heart a deceiver. Of course. I'm all in for the heart. The mind, the brain, is everything that's wrong. It is the cancer. It is the duality. It is the contradiction. Through and through. So does one see that to the real? Is that being seen? And those who come from the mind are all a bunch of cowards. There's no courage. There's no heart in them whatsoever. So in this short time to come, that's what this is all about. It's separating those who wish to retain the crown of the mind from the truly courageous, from the ones who are truly of the heart. And if one is truly from the heart, you're going to be ready and willing to do all that it takes to leave this hell system. Absolutely. To not just be a keyboard warrior. There's not going to be any more hiding behind these screens for anyone who is real. Not a single individual who is real. There's not going to be just watching these truther videos or your latest Netflix series or whatever the hell you get busy on just being consumed by all these distractions there's not going to be any more time for that all of that is going bye bye it's disappearing and to the new age types that just think that it's all about vibrating positivity one needs to get rid of these garbage notions completely it's not about rainbow bright farts and carabao countdowns that's not going to cut it for the kingdom of the heart, for the kingdom of heaven. One has to find their heart, find their courage. It's not going to be about watching videos endlessly till the end of time. If anyone believes that I'm going to be speaking on here for all that much longer, then you're just not listening, you're not getting the message whatsoever. There's also more reflections to be shown on here for what's to come. All of these things that everyone is so used to, thinking that it's all just here again to just bow down and endlessly worship you, just destroying absolutely destroying and gutting the entire earth to prop up this shoestring and bubblegum construct that is being held together miraculously. It's a surprise that the whole thing doesn't just crumble under its own stupidity. It's a freaking miracle that it doesn't happen every single day. The rulers of this realm, they must be just sweating non-stop. Absolutely. Just every single day that passes, they must just be going, holy crap, we got past another day. Oh my God, wow. That was, that was a close one, but we did it. It's just unreal. Just no direction whatsoever. No such thing as a plan. No compositional aspect. It's just all randomness, all chaos, all noise, all absurdity. It's, it is hilarious in so many ways. It needs to be laughed at completely. If there wasn't so much 
pain involved, it's the greatest freaking comedy throughout eternity. That's what this all is. The grandest comedy throughout all of eternity. The greatest joke. And if you believe in any of it, then you believe in the greatest joke ever. You believe in truly a chaos shit show circus. That's what you believe in. And especially when you declare that you believe in the mind. Or make proclamations that the mind is balanced with the heart. What a joke. It's like saying the devil is balanced with God. You're a clown for making that proclamation. Actually, a retard clown. Anyone who does. So if one wants to believe in structures held together by that, well, that's pretty damn sad. One really needs to look inside of themselves and their own vision. Utilize this time, the very precious little time that one has left, and find the heart. One is going to have to find their true courage. Because being a keyboard warrior, <laughs> that's, that's not going to cut it. That's not going to do a damn thing. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. Oh yeah, that's nice. What else do you have to say, clown? Who cares? Eternity is done with this shit. It's enough of this shit.